Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago I found out that the dial that adjusts the biting point of my SRAM code RSC was blocked and in this video I will show you how to do the complete lever service for this brake. Before starting I want to remind that the dot oil inside this brake is corrosive so clean properly any residue that could come out. Let's start with detaching the caliper from the lever by removing the hose put from the brake body. Then remove the hose compression nut. Pull the brake hose and compression fitting from the brake lever body. You can now put aside the caliper. With a torque stand, remove the reservoir cap bolt nearest to the lever blade. Then beat gently the lever on the desk to remove the detent spring and bolt. Remove the remaining reservoir cap bolt over a cutted bottle for picking the draining oil. Then remove the reservoir cap and bladder. Squeeze the lever blade to force any remaining brake fluid out of the lever body. Separate the bladder from the reservoir cap. Clean the reservoir cap and the bladder. Now with a torque stand you can remove the lever pivot bolts and then remove the lever blade assembly from the lever body. With a torx 8 remove the swing link pinch bolt. Then push out the swing link pivot pin and remove the swing link. They move the swing link bashing from both sides of the lever. Use a SRAM lever internal assembly tool to unthread the piston sleeve and coupler. Insert the SRAM lever internal assembly tool into the lever body and align the key slots of the tool with the piston coupler. Use the tool to unthread the sleeve and remove the sleeve and coupler. If the piston sleeve and coupler are stuck in the lever body, use needle nose pliers to gently remove. Now remove the sleeve from the coupler and clean them. Now place a rug over the lever body or simply use your hand to prevent piston assembly from ejecting when pushing out the contact adjust knob. Otherwise this will just explode out from the lever. Like of course it happened to me at the first try because I rushed in reading the manual. You can now remove the piston assembly from the lever body and clean everything. Now grease the piston. I personally use the SRAM butter grease but you can also use new dot oil as lubricant. Install the new piston assembly into the lever body. Then use the SRAM lever internal assembly tool to press the piston into the lever body while inserting the contact adjust knob into the contact adjust slot. You should hear a pop sound when the contact knob is fully seated in place. Place the sleeve on the coupler, making sure that the sleeve thread are oriented towards the base of the coupler. Use the SRAM lever internal assembly tool to engage and thread the sleeve and coupler onto the piston assembly. Engage the slots on the sleeve with the contact adjust knob and continue to thread the SRAM lever internal assembly tool in a clockwise rotation until it stops. Install now the swing link bashings. If the swing link bashings fall out easily, apply a small amount of SRAM dot grease to the bashings to help hold them in place. Place the swing link onto the SRAM lever internal assembly tool to adjust the length of the push rod. In order to adjust the length of the push rod, turn counterclockwise to make the push rod fit more snug in the tool or turn clockwise to make the push rod more loose in the tool.
Then place the push rod into the cobbler sleeve inside the lever. Align the holes of the swinglings and the swinglings pushings. Then press the pivot pin into the hole until it's flush with the lever body and then tighten the swingling pinch bolt with a Torx A. Now install the lever plate. Line up the pivot holes of the lever plate with pivot holes in the lever body, making sure the lever return spring is seated properly in the lever. The outboard end of the spring must press against the lever plate, while the inboard end of the spring must press against the lever body. Now thread each pivot bolt with a torque stem into the bearings on each side of the lever body, then tighten each pivot bolt. Press a bladder into the reservoir cap, making sure that the bladder is properly seated into the reservoir cap. Insert now the reservoir cap bladder assembly onto the lever body. Install the detent pole followed by the spring into the lever body reservoir hole closest to the lever blade. Install each reservoir cap bolt, then tighten with a torque stem. Now apply a small amount of grease on the brake cable and compression nut, then tighten it and the service could be considered concluded. I hope you will find this tutorial useful. If yes, please leave a like and consider to subscribe to the channel for free. In the meantime, happy maintenance and see you next time.